What is up, guys? Welcome to a new series. The West Ham one is still going. I'm just going to play through at the end of the season and have a quick look back at the second season, right? That is because the level 10 database will be out very, very soon, which means I can start my youth system crook town save alongside the one we are starting today with Darmstadt 98. What I did is that there's a site called Surprise Shirts. They did like a FM pack, so you could you bought a shirt and that was your team for Football Manager. And my team was Darmstadt 98. This is the shirt. I, I actually like it. It's very, very smart. Um, back to my team in Germany. It's a team called Rotterweiss Oberhausen. Unfortunately, they will not be on this unless you get a bigger database. So I thought, you know, that a damn stad, and we'll see how we get on. But let's get straight into this, see how they are, see what we've done, our tactics, and just who are damn stad 98. So here we go. Today we are playing Munster in the DFB Pokal first round. <coughs> and as we look who these exactly are, you can see the predicted 10th in the second Bundesliga, which is the second division of German football, if you didn't know that. They have not won a thing apart from the German regional division southwest. 2011. That wasn't that long ago. 2011. So that means they weren't even in the league system, like, what, 10 years ago. Last season, they did finish in 7th. 7th in this division is kind of way out there. You have these two. I think one's automatic, I do believe. We'll have a quick check on the rules. Yeah, two are automatic, sorry, and then one is the playoffs. But in the playoffs, what you'll do is you'll play against the team that finish in 16th place, which is, it will be difficult. <laughs> It'll be difficult. Look at Bayern, that's ridiculous, isn't it? How ridiculous are Bayern Munich? The team, though, we were restricted, so we kind of had to go with a 4-4-2 kind of system. But I decided to do this one, which is the have a go, and this one, which is the sit back. So... What I've been doing is we get a goal and just sit back because we <laughs> we can't really risk it. They're both kind of the same things. Apart from sit back, a lot shorter passing. That's slightly shorter passing so that we kind of more expansive. And then apart from that, it's just the out of possession thing that changes, which is just the high defensive line. It gets changed to a lower line of engagement. Trying to really sit in that low block when a team tries to come at us. We've had quite a decent pre-season. I mean, transfer-wise, I haven't had much luck. I've been trying to bring people in. We haven't got like uh, an abundance of money, shall we say. But the only person that's in so far is a loan for Grant Liam Mamidova. We did need another striker. He's nowhere near good enough. But I just needed bodies because, to be honest with you, we haven't got a lot of money. The only thing that I'm surprised at is this Marco Perez, who apparently we can sign. He would be incredible for us, I think. He'd be really good at this level. We've offered him a contract. It's absolutely outrageous what we're paying him. But I do think he'll do a job for us. So far this season, we've been doing all right, to be honest with you. We, we, we beat Zenit St. Petersburg two goals to one. Like, that's the, the actual Zenit. Like, I think I'm, I'm pretty confident they're in the Champions League. Like, there must be. Oh, they're not. Oh. Weird. I thought they would be. But, oh, well. But still a massive club. So there's a hell of a win. And then we played, see, we were meant to play Bayern Munich, but I cancelled that one because I was like, not keen on that. We played Valof, won five goals, and I don't know who they are. I think they're just like a lower league, a lower league German team. German lower division they're in. And then we've done really, really well. Regensburg, we should have really won. We didn't take our chances. And then KFC, we scored the third minute. Then I was like, you know what? We'll just we'll just sit and chill. So what we did is we, we sat and chilled. Not to care in the world, we just sat and chilled. So that was really nice. We do have Munster today. Munster, I think these are also in the, the German lower leagues. Regional Division West. Regional Division West. So we should really be beating these. We're obviously going to go straight in this game, as we have been, which would be the have a go, and then we know exactly how we stand against these. So this is the team we're going to go with. We have Schuin in goal, who is... Easily the better goalkeeper. They're both, they're both fairly similar. To be perfect, honestly, for theirs, Martin. This is uh, Martin Behrens. Martin's 24 years of age. He's 31, I believe. He's 28. He's younger than I thought he was. We just really need to work on what we're doing. He's my right mid. So he you can go there. I've had to promote someone. We needed, basically, when we started, we needed a midfielder, we needed a right back, we needed a striker. The striker's kind of covered. 
Right back, I brought this guy up from the development system. Frank Ronstadt, he's German, he's 24 years of age. Work rate's decent, technique's decent. He'll, he'll do a job at left back on. He's is what it is. Tackling's good. I can't really winch too much. But he should do us a job for now. I mean, this season is literally a case of... If I show you this league here, yeah, this, this league is just disgusting. There's Hamburger, Werder Bremen, the Schalke, St. Pauli are a good team, Hanover. We are definitely not the favourites to be anywhere near this team. We're ninth. We've, we've made a loan signing. We've been one at one. So, ninth. I'll, I'll take ninth. Schalke meant to finish second, Werder Bremen first. But you never know, do you? This season is literally going to be a case of let's have a good go and see what we can do. Really get this formation stuck in with some decent players. And then fingers crossed we can progress nicely onto season two and really make a go of it. But finance-wise, before we get in this game, we have £7 million in the bank. We are making a lot of money. Plus we have season tickets. When that ends, we'll be losing a lot of money. Oh my days! We need 47k. We need 47k. My scouting budget is ridiculous. I'll do that. Must respond. Accept. We have a new striker. <laughs> He'll be able to play Munster as well, right? So give me two. But a comeback for the Munster game. He'll be in there. I didn't realize it was that long till the next game. But yeah. Give me two seconds. We'll come back for that game. We have Marco per Perez, which is unreal. He should be an absolute demon for us. Give me two seconds when we're back then. So, right, what I wanted to show before we get in this game is I've just noticed this. Look at their familiarity. Like, it's mental. Like, everybody... Geez, honestly, this 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 could be a difficult game, like, genuinely. This could be a very, very hard game. This is the team we're going with for today. We have Schuman in goal, Holland, Isherwood, Sobiesch, and Bader at the back. Jusula, Malem in the centre with Honsat, Kempe on the wings. Perez, the new signing, and Teet up front. I'm trying to think of anyone else we need on the bench. I wouldn't mind him on the bench, to be honest with you. Like, instead of Gola. We'll put him there instead of Gola, and let's get stuck into this game. We need a big win here. It'd be very nice to start this save off on YouTube with a very, very big win. Obviously, this is a bit of a longer episode now because I've been trying to explain what. The, the, the trans window is still open. I do hope I can bring in a few more faces, but money-wise, we're a little rats, aren't we? But Munster are at home. Us Darmstadt make the appearance for them. This is the... I, don't, I can't remember what the name of this, this skin is. I'll put the name of the skin in the description because I can't remember what it is. Um, change that to ours. Yeah, there we go. Kempe miss kicked it, but he goes in. Honsak, good save. He didn't even hit the ball there. The ball just floated from between his legs into the box. We love to see it. Really positive start though. Twenty-two minutes in. Kempe, we get a good delivery here. Puts the ball in. Bosch Isherwood. Thomas Isherwood buys Kempe with a lovely ball. And this is where before I kind of give up, and I was like, well, we'll sit back. But we're against lower league opposition. Do need to stick up there. What actually would be interesting? I've only ever mentioned Germany for a, like briefly. I've never really managed there for a long period of time. It'd be interesting to see if we get money. We do we get 150k for appearing in the first round. Interesting. Big fan of that. So we have 150k coming in. Obviously, I do expect our, our um, finances to take an absolute battering. It'd be interesting to see. If a, a, a semi-decent cup run could, could save us. Dieters, love the bar. I mean, if we get 150 grand for this one, 300k for the next one, two rounds should cover us for a good two or three months. Which would be nice, wouldn't it? No financial issues. you love to see it. Half time. I mean, they haven't really had a, they haven't had a shot on target yet, so we can't really be too, too angry about it. Keep going, boys. Love to see that. I love to see that Honziak probably take him. Oh, Seidel who's up front. Seidel's a very actually a very good striker. He got both goals against both goals against Zenit. 
I forgot who it was for a second there. But here we go in the second half. Seidel can come on the left. They play up front last time. Ball gets put in. Oh, what a shocking goal to concede. Straight down the middle. But like, what can you do there? We switch off very, very shortly. And it's just enough for Langitz just to run through that gap. It's kind of appalling. That is kind of appalling. Oh, we're attacking. I would, we meant to be on positive. Hmm. Well, here we go. 60th minute. Draw taste to Dob. We haven't seen much of uh, Marco Perez yet, which is a bit disappointing. Oh, why the Homerick? Homerick, ball in. We hit the... Boys, we need to demand more. We need to really focus up now, boys. Honestly. Sobiak. Yasula. Lovely ball to Kemp here. We get a good delivery again. We can. Oh, Seidel can't get there. All right, we get the ball straight back. Seidel. Melham. Teets. Melham. He's hit the crossbar, man. Off the put. Why is, wait, we, why is nobody going for that, man? Plenty of time to be getting that ball back. Take Jasula off. We're going to bring on Dylan Hart. Probably I don't want to take Kem Kempe off. Yeah, I do. He's, he's going to be struggling, isn't he? He's going to be struggling. Take him off. We're going to put Tim Skark on. Kempe, lovely, lovely way to intercept that. Sobiek, Isherwood. Shell Hart. Oh, what is this kid doing? <laughs> he, was, he has no interest in going for that ball. What is his work rate? We're going on a lot of tangents here, but what is that boy's work rate, Gus? He had no interest in going for that there. Marco Perez. 13. He's he's by far the best striker in the, in, in the league, probably. He'd be up there if not the best. Gets paid 8.25k a week. How can we afford that is the question. Corona Polito. Beat his man. Oh, well run back from Holland. Sadel. Holland. Come on, boys. Let's create something now. We've got five minutes left. Puts it in the middle. Holby's picked it out to Remberg. Chip the keeper. <laughs> Monster 2. Damn, that 98 1. I honestly, every update I do, right, ends like this. Honestly. Two goals to one. See with changes. Why is everyone green? I don't even know who's tired now. Everyone's green. We've lost 2 1 a monster. But there, like, this is this is my issue on Football Manager this this year, is that I did a draft today and got battered and I just couldn't score. But look, ten shots, four on target, one goal. Ten shots, three on target, two goals. <sighs> it's something for me to look into. I do think we we went attacking though? We should have probably been positive from the start. I might even change it to balanced. More of an attacking general anyway. But there we go. We receive 149k either way because we did appear in that round. Monster go through. It's okay. We'll focus on we'll focus on the league, won't we? We'll focus on the league. Oh, see, he wants nothing. He would play on the right. No. Can't you buy any more players? We haven't got enough money. But that is gonna be it for now, right? We're gonna come back against Hansa Rostock. And fingers crossed we can have a little bit more luck then. You never know in this clip. Can't score. Well, there we go. My inability to score carries over into the damn stat 98 save. I'm sure we'll get going. I mean, we've got to be played for two games in the league. We've got a win and a draw. The league is more important than the cup. It'd be nice for a cup run, but it's not the end of the world. Marco Pays may be the biggest waste of money ever. Marco Pays is not even his name. Marco Perez might be the biggest waste of money I've ever spent in my life, but I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll find out very soon. Stay safe, guys, and I'll catch you next time.